Welcome back everyone and the crypto market is still going negative everyone's panic selling but I know a lot of you are buying I did a poll and a lot of you are just holding or looking for deals or doing a little gambling like I was talking about the other day just you know snipping here snipping there buying some junk coins or whatever you want to call them and also increasing your position in some pretty good cryptos to have especially with ethereum being on sale right now but this video was to go over all the crypto stocks that are trading on the stock market right now. And I was meaning to do this video for New Year's Day because we did the top 5 cryptos to own for New Year's Eve. But you know, we had a bunch of other videos coming up and all sorts of things. So right now, as the market keeps going down with people selling off because of the fear, obviously everything got triggered by the algorithms and the bots. And guess what, they took advantage because once the Robin Hood started to sell, the algorithms and the bots are slowly buying back up. They made their money. So we're going to go over a couple of crypto stocks that I enjoy. I like them. I bought them, sold them a while ago. I still own a few here and there. But because these are regulated stocks, so I have to tell you that I am not a financial advisor. I'm not a broker. I'm not anything. I'm just, gonna, I'm just giving you public information. These are the charts and just the websites and what I think and we're just gonna go over some facts some facts that are easily available on their websites and such like that so we're not pumping anything I'm not telling you to buy anything this is just an informational video take a nice little look around the market right now see what's going on obviously my lighting for my camera you guys can see it's a little bit off that's because I got bright snow coming in I got studio lights up but it's okay, we got a lot of snow, so snowed in for today. So let's get started. Mara, Mara Digital Holdings. This is an amazing stock. Uh, personally, I've been in and out a couple times. I still own it, so I do gotta announce it, I believe. I don't own that many shares, but I do own quite a bit of it. Uh, I should have probably sold up here. I believe when it hit $82, $83, there was some fear mongering going on and there was, um, I forget what what the events were around this time frame and it just made it drop. But I was actually enjoying a nice meal by Coney Island and I completely forgot to take a look at my phone and it came right back down. But this is a stock that is so undervalued right now and it moves with Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin starts going on a tear the next week, two, three weeks, even a month or two months, this will go right back up, right back up to the 80s. So, you know, there's huge potential here, especially if you have any skill with options trading as well. And I believe we got a quote Rudy from Alpha Investments on this. I, I, I'm, I'm going to be misquoting it, but he was saying something about how they love to sell options to the consumer, to people in Robinhood or Webull and whatever, because 92% of them go unfulfilled or they don't uh, they don't execute so they just make a ton of money who's ever giving out the options um, I gotta look back on the video but it's a, it's about 90% and up so you not many people make money on selling options and I know there's a lot of TikTokers like if you bought this option when I told you to you would have made this much money again 92% or I think it's 93 or 94% of options that get bought up go worthless they expire worthless you lose money on them so that's something I also learned the hard way over the summertime. So you live and you learn. So Mara is fantastic. If you go to their website, marathonh.com, you can see everything. They got all the news. Uh, actually, they haven't really updated the news in a while. Uh, I wanted to find the stats. Okay, here we go. They're expected to have... 133,000 miners to generate approximately 13.3 exahash by mid-2022. That's a lot. Believe, if I'm correct, they have one of their locations in Vegas. So let's actually click on the mining. Uh, blocks. Uh, do they have any... Okay, so... They don't have much. Let's see what is press releases here. Let's see what we got for press releases. Now oh, here we go. Marathon Digital announces Bitcoin mining production and mining operations updates for December 2021. Here's some news. Uh, they have 8,100 Bitcoin. And here's a chart that shows them what they're doing here. They're at 13 point. So by mid 
2022, 13.33. And then once everything's deployed, because I know they have, they've been buying a lot of miners, they'll be at 23.3 exahash, fully deployed. Okay, now that's Mao. And this is the chart, look at this. So we'll look at the 52 week range. It's between $15 and $83. Technicals, well, trading view does not give us good technicals on this, obviously, because everything's been in, in a sell. Sell, sell, sell. And then you have all the panic selling as well. But this has the potential to go right back up to 80 or even pass it or even hit 100 some point in 2022. I obviously can't pinpoint the date. I know a lot of other YouTubers will be doing technical chart analysis and this and that, but they, you know, they always keep forgetting about emotional traders, the algorithms. Any news about regulating Bitcoin or if some other country bans Bitcoin, Bitcoin goes down and all these stocks follow. And you have to take that note with all the stocks I, sh I show you. Crypto stocks tend to really follow Bitcoin quite a lot. So, you know, it, it could be going up, up, up with Bitcoin and then just one little bad news. Actually, it can't even be, it, it wouldn't even be bad news. It would just be like, you know, neutral news and it triggers the algorithms to sell and then the rest follows and they panic sell. So let's get off my off for now. Again, this is a great price. 28.55 right now. Will it go lower? I mean, if you, if you, if you follow the trend, yeah, it could go, but it's, it's good to buy it anytime right now, but let's go over to riot, riot blockchain. Again, the same dates, they came down, they came right down. Riot had hit a $79 high. For, for its two week range and now it's at 1992 but its low was only 1675 why it was actually outperforming Mara most of 2022 and then it kind of they kind of caught up with each other then why it came the other way again this is a other stock to consider adding to your crypto portfolio especially if you own cryptos you might as well own both crypto stocks crypto the actual crypto coins some nfts depending on which games you're going to be playing uh, you want to be exposed on all fronts, basically. Uh, Riot, I do not own any Riot at the moment at all. I don't even own one share, if I'm correct. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't own any Riot anymore at all. I believe I had sold it when it was in the 40 range here. Actually, oh, actually I had sold, I had caught Riot to sell right here. November 3, yep, I was on Coney Island then. I caught Riot to sell off. I believe because I had bought it on margin uh, right down here so I you know I did quite well on it but I remember I sold it off I actually to be realistically guys tell you the truth I remember this I had sold it off in New York City when I was at Coney Island just for that day and then when I came back into the hotel room I bought more Bizog. so I actually had sold Riot on the margin that I had it took the profits and put it into Bizogi. That's, that's around the same time that I was adding more on Vizog. That is interesting right there. Yep, those are cool dates. But again, back to Riot. A great stock to also own. Um, at this price, I don't, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm just following the trend. And we also got to look at the Bitcoin chart because these are following Bitcoin again. I will actually consider buying Riot again very soon. I don't know when. I mean, it can't really get too much lower, but again, you, you follow the trend and it's just going down, down, down. Today is Friday, so Monday could be a positive day. Things could turn around next week, but if you go to Riot's website, it is riotblockchain.com. Bitcoin mining for America. Riot currently has a deployed hash rate approximately of 3 exahash. A lot less than Mara. And guess what? They were a lot more expensive than Mara last year for the stock. And then it came, and then it, whatever, it balanced out. But they have secured purchase agreements for additional S19 miners scheduled for delivery and deployment by quarter four of 2022. So by the end of 2022, which is expected to increase our self mining hash rate capacity to 9 exahash. Uh, and deployment by so they'll be they'll probably be delivered you know all over 2022 then obviously it's going to take time to get them all wired up and get the cooling correctly but up to 9x and hash so you can expect the stock should recover as you know they have a they have an 
a quarterly call or an earnings call and they say, hey, we know we now got our S19 miners in and we're, we're starting to get mine of them, then the market will react after hours probably, depending. But again, it's a good it's a good price point right now. So let's look at the next one, which is HUT. Now, I don't own any HUT anymore. I did own it at one point. Um, interesting, because the, the, yeah, the week range is 315 to 1657, and I had bought it at the time around this, around this range, maybe like 330, 340, 350. One of, actually, one of our subscribers recommended it a while ago, when it was very cheap, and I had sold it at one point, I forget what, I was probably buying a crypto or something else, I can't even remember. But currently, I don't own any HUT, uh, I will, I could buy back in if it goes a little bit lower. Uh, but HUT is another Bitcoin mining company, or oh, HUT 8 Mining Corp. These are the earnings, the technicals here. Obviously, all the technicals for all the crypto stocks right now are sell because of the algorithms tr triggering them. And obviously, once you see the prices start going up on all these crypto stocks, you know it is. It's, it's the big banks, the big investors, the guys with the software. The algorithms, you know, they they played the whole market. You know, they they've been selling up here, triggering everything, and they're just they're probably figuring out the bottom right now. It's either today or the next couple days, and they'll buy back up and it'll go up. But let's look at their website because I actually do not know too much about Hot Eight Mining. I actually bought Hot Eight Mining without knowing anything about it then either. I just bought because I was seeing it was trending upwards, and I think I sold it after it went up two or three dollars. But Hot Eight. Uh, let's see, first data mining company on the TSX, so it's being traded in Canada, I believe. Is that what that means? Um, what is digital? Okay, so they are not... Can they give us some information about how much power they have? So they don't ha they're not telling us any... They're not telling us how much mining power they have, how much hash rate. You could probably Google it. I'm sure you can find it. They are based in Canada. Oh, right. Actually, I did look at this website before. They got the, the little outdoor mining things there. See that? And I believe, yeah, and those doors open up so they can cool down. It's kind of cool. So, I actually, I did look at this site before, but it was, uh, I guess they've, they've changed it up. But this is a company I would do some research on, obviously. Again, you got the potential to go back up to 1657. Or even past that more, depending. Again, all these stocks move with Bitcoin. So, now, the next one. This, I would say, is a gamble. I actually did own this stock. This is SOS Limited. Um, 78 cents, yeah. And I, actually, when I bought this, it was very cheap. It was like a dollar or two dollars when I bought it a long time ago. I can't even remember now. Uh, let's see if we can just zoom out. Yeah. I had bought it actually last last year around this time, then it, it just went out of control. But it has come back down. Obviously, there's been some interesting news with it. I actually forget about it, so you you'll actually have to look it up yourself. But they do have the potential to go back up again. I don't know how long it'll be. Um, it's 81 cents right now. Um, they have to maintain a price of a dollar for about a, I think a month, if I remember correctly. So. They stay at this low level. They're gonna they're gonna trigger a warning, and they'll have a certain amount before they get delisted. So, let's see their website because I forget how much mining power they have. Well, this actually is their website. Looks very I would say early two thousands. Now this again, this is one that I don't know if you should. This is a very um, you know. I believe they were based out of China and they were trying to move their office, I think, to New York City because of the whole China ban on crypto mining. And that's exactly why the stock went down. And some other news as well. Uh, let's see what the blockchain, let's see. Products and services, do they have, how much power they have? Again, so I don't own any of this right now. I'm seeing it at 81 cents and I'm like, do I take a gamble? This is a very high risk gamble. I don't know how long it'll take to pay off. Uh, investor facts. Uh, they don't. Yeah, they don't. Um, they're not telling us how much mining power they have. 
Yep, eight. Oh, look at that. We're going down. We're getting sold off a little bit here. Uh, let's keep it like that. Okay. So, yeah, and this is an, another stock. Um, again, high risk, very high risk. But. You know, you throw a couple hundred dollars, maybe a couple, maybe a thousand, two thousand, depending on what you can afford, and hope for the best. But with SOS, you should do a lot of research. Their website doesn't have much info that I'm looking for, especially the mining power, but, you know, that's it. And now, I think we're going to look at, we're going to look at a stock that is merging with another stock, and they're going to have the most mining power, technically, once it's completed the merger. It is... Right here, A and Y Sphere Three D Corporation. This had hit a high of almost twelve dollars one point. It was, you know, it was between the five and seven dollar range, eight dollar range. But it, it, this stock was heavily shorted. It was the most heavily shorted stock for a while. Um, I had bought into it. I actually, um, you know, I'm gonna buy a lot more now at two dollars and ninety one cents. Very cheap. And the reason why it's been dropping because there's been no news. They they had announced when they had announced I think in the fall that the merger wouldn't be happening before the end of the year it would happen some point in quarter one of 2022 as they have a lot more paperwork they gotta do and a lot more other things to complete the merger if so then they are merging with uh, Griffin Griffin digital mining if you click on the team here which is quite interesting Rob Chang he's got an interesting Twitter he's got a pretty funny Twitter um, I believe he came, uh, I don't know, was he from Riot, yeah, he was a CFO of Riot Blockchain and consulted for other publicly traded blockchain mining companies, and he's for Griffin, and Sphere is a cloud company, they got servers and everything, which is really nice, but they're obviously merging, and they will keep the stock ticker A and Y. Obviously, when this happens, it should explode. It should really, really explode. The issue is there's just no news. And obviously, they can't say anything because, you know, it's against SEC rules. So they can't even give you like a false, like a really, really, they can't give you an actual date when they're going to finish merging and such like that. It'll just be announced when it's happening or close to happening. But the stock has suffered greatly from it. This is the people that are shorting the stock have been making a ton of money the last three months three months yeah so they just been short they've been making a ton of money the shorters have been having a field day making a lot of money and i know from a bunch of form boards and everything people are holding strong on this and they're still buying i mean right now this is a great price to buy but again a high risk high reward stock I forget what the mining power is going to be once fully deployed, but it's supposed to be more than Mara, which is insanity. So, this is one to look at. Um, you don't have to buy today. I don't know when you should buy. The price could go a little bit lower. I hope not, but it could go a little bit lower. So, make your own judgment there, guys. So that is it for all of these crypto mining stocks, obviously, not financial advice, just opinions, and we're just browsing them together and we're, you know, having a cup of coffee. My cafe latte is a little, it's getting a little cold now, so I have to go get a new one. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know, actually, if you own any crypto mining stocks or any other ones. I obviously didn't go any other, any, any ones that are holding it, just holding it. I just looked at the mining ones, obviously. I did not want to go look at ones that are holding it because they could unload them and not even tell you and they would tell you after they've unloaded so you would have a hard time you know knowing when to get out of that stock so again we just went with mining stocks because you can they trade with the price of bitcoin so all right guys let me know what you think like comment subscribe share on facebook reddit telegram the discord whatever i don't know if there's any private websites with forums still going and you know comment down below let me know if there's anything else that you've been buying or selling i know some of these stocks since they're on the u.s market if you're in europe or in canada you have to buy them on certain brokerages that allow you to buy foreign stocks but do your own research first all right guys i'll see you next time